First event on the track, the women's mile. Sarah Bowman, now Sarah Bowman Brown has the championship record. Jenny Berenger, the Olympian, twice an Olympian, has a collegiate record. And Emma Coburn, the best time in the country this year on the women's side. And there is Emma Coburn. This Colorado senior credits a lack of participation as the reason why her 2013 indoor season has been so successful. I didn't have any cross country eligibility, so I spent the fall just training, and that was a nice block of time to just not have to compete. Um, I competed through the end of August, and so getting home at the end of August and then taking a break and getting into good training again in October and November um, really helped prepare me for an indoor season. I think if I would have raced in the fall, it wouldn't have come together quite so well. Right, she took time off last year, did not compete in the outdoor season for Colorado, focused on her training with the hopes of making the Olympic team, did, and wound up in the Olympic finals, seventh ranked in the world, no less, at the steeplechase distance. Ann Kessel Ray from Germany, she's now 23 years of age, a senior at Oregon, has had a terrific four years there, and she has got excellent speed, slow pace, keep an eye on her. Becca Friday hoping to score big points along with Kessel Ray, and this upcoming mile you're about to see, they need points from these ladies, significant points, to try and keep Oregon in the hunt for their fourth in a row team title if they're successful here today. And we really cannot overstress how important it is for Oregon that Kessel Ring and Friday score and score as high as possible. As you see, the 10 competitors in this women's mile, they will stay in their groups and lanes for the first two turns and then will break for the inside after that far turn. Many of these women have run multiple races throughout the weekend, including the distance medley relay on the first night. Colbert has the fastest collegiate time run indoors this year. Four minutes, 29, 48, 6 seconds. Not far off the world best, 427 by Sheila Reed of Canada. This is largely an American event in the sense I should say North American. It's not run in Europe much. They run the 1,500 meters over there. champion this year at 3,000 meters. Letting Colburn do the work. She's run 433. That race was won, by the way, right, right on this track. She's been here numerous times before. Very familiar with her. By the way, terrific crowd here. We should mention that. This capacity here is about 5,600 spectators. And we are very close to that being sold out right now. First event getting underway on the running track. Colbert and Winslow, a little gap there back to third with Tracy of Notre Dame. And then the always dangerous Carly Hamilton, sophomore from Georgia. She has a vicious kick. And if she puts herself in good position, she can really be in the mix in the last lap. Colbert doing the work for 
from the gun. And gapping now, Carly Hamilton. It's a two-woman race at this point in time. If the rest of them want to get engaged, they need to do it soon. Winslow looks very full of run. Over and Kessel is Winslow. way off the back in last place. 3.24 and three quarters. Solid pace, very fine efforts by both ladies up front particularly. Winslow's got something left here. She just feels like she's, I think, holding herself back here. But you don't run on the shoulder like this. Make a move or don't make a move. Right, and Coburn was very smart to just rebuff that move. That takes energy, especially this late in the race, for Winslow to make that move. So now she's going to have to try and mount another sprint as we come down to the bell lap. This is a two-woman race here in the women's mile. And the Florida State senior, Amanda Winslow. Coburn now picking it up and gapping. Coburn Winslow ever so slightly. Emma Coburn, the Olympian in the Coburn is looking up to see exactly what the gap is right now. She is humping as hard as possible. Winslow not responding. The gap grows wider. The pace is also heated up here. It's not so much Winslow is coming up. Winslow just can't seem to accelerate like she is. Coburn powering away for the national title here. Unofficially, 429.7. Amanda Winslow in second place gets a personal best by several seconds. And three points will be awarded to Oregon for its two athletes in there with a sixth place finish by Becca Friday. So Coburn, an Olympic finalist last summer, wins easily over a great performance by Amanda Winslow. And Nevada Strauss of Florida comes up for third. <laughs>